Girl Scout Troop 10679, and we are currently working on our Silver Award project. Volunteering at this nursing home has raised our awareness to the conditions and disabilities that these individuals are living with. Along with painting a mural to brighten up their environment, we also wanted to learn more about the residents' situations. Our group researched the causes and effects of living with a disability as an average citizen in Venice. We're about to enter your residence to get the start of living with a disability and how it affects your life. But before we do that, we would like to show you our mural we're painting. over here and butterflies and just some quotes to bring motivation to the How did that happen? How did the, the kidneys happen? Yeah. 
the kid the kidneys happened it happened basically it just I just I just got it out last what was it? It was last December that I I started to have problems went to the hospital and to make a long story short they found out that I had some problems. I am doing much better. I do have the catheter now. And that's basically because I can't walk you know, I can't walk yeah. that good. So as I get better, hopefully I will be without the catheter. Um, how do you feel about your disability? Good. I mean, I, uh, some people are going to get really upset. Yeah. It's hard to deal with sometimes now. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It is very hard. It would be for anybody, I think. But I believe in God, and God helps me. Um, one more question. Um, do you know the mural that we painted outside in the patio? Yes. Have you seen it before? Yes. Like, Very nice. What'd you say? Tell me your feelings on it. I like it. I like. I've been. She took. She uh, took me in the patio before. We're out there because she was like ordering, ordering, and there and whatever. I helped a little bit. You know, with, and I think it's very nice. I, I thank do. You. Well, thank you for letting us into the video. Thank you very much. Hi, have a nice day. I'm Prosper. And we'd like to ask you a few questions. Is that okay? Okay, no problem. Um, the first question is, what is it like working here and with the disabled? Well, working here with these visitors is a great, great experience with them. No, you know, here, you know, because most of them, some of them coming from different backgrounds. And, you know, it's good to be here to have visible people. And I, along the way, when you have them, you see you you you, you experience different uh, type of uh, relationship, you know, experience in life, and you know what life really is all about, you know. It's my thing. You can give me a point. What is it like working with the disabled? Is it hard to work with them? Well, sometimes it's kind of difficult. But uh, if you give time, uh, you be patient, you'll get through it. And it's not that easy, but with time and patience, you'll get through it. No? And um, have you seen any changes in the residence since you came to the oh, Yeah, a lot of change. You know, it's just like uh, I can tell this place was a lot of residents. It's kind of more than a hospital because some residents come with really really disabled and they make a lot of progress so some start you know even walking them on their own make a lot of progress and then stop back moving so there's a lot of change. Oh yeah the mail yeah it's good. Thank you. It's good. It's really good. Okay? Thank you for your time. Beautiful. All right, no Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. We're gonna do an interview. Oh sure okay happy interview. So um are you living with a disability? Yes, yes, I have a, oh, I have a many debacle to dialysis. Every, every day, every two days, they put needles in my, in my arms and take all the blood from my heart and wash it and put it back in. A lot of people die from that while they, while they're doing this, but I'm still here, thank God. <laughs> God gives that first, <laughs> always. And how do you feel about this disability? Well, I feel great. I just trust in the Lord, baby. That's right. I trust in the Lord. I'm, I'm 86. I'll be 87 in June. And I thank God. I'm almost 100. <laughs> Thing, the good things I can before I leave this world. <laughs> is there anything that helps you? Like the mural outside, or is there anything that's that helps? Yeah, I told us I clean my room. I clean the room, clean the floor, and everything. Make the bed out of it. I used to do it in, uh, in Miami, they used to have to feed me. I, this was there. But I'm here now. I'm, I'm strong, man. I'm strong. 
<laughs> and one more question. Have you seen the mural outside? The picture? Yeah, on the out on the patio outside. Oh, oh yeah, I got to go, I have to go outside. Yeah. Do you like the pictures? Yeah, I like them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh good. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for letting us interview you. Oh, all right, baby. Anytime. Have a nice day, okay? okay. Thank, you. thank you. Through these interviews, we hope to have cleared up any misconceptions about people living with disabilities and how doing simple things can brighten up a nursing home. In turn, it is our wish that you are inspired to become active in helping your community and to go out of your way to perform small acts of kindness. Change starts with you.